Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hmm. Oh, now I can hear you. Can you hear me now? There. Yep. I had to rehook up the uh, microphone. So. Oh. Hello, everyone. I guess we had to figure out how to get this to work in the evening. Yeah, it, it didn't want to work in the evening. It, it, it only wants to work in the morning. That's right. How so. are you doing? You know, I'm doing really good. Thanks for asking. Had a great day. It's uh, really cooling off in North Dakota. Yeah, you can keep that there. Yeah, from when, <laughs> I, took, when I took off, uh, to, what was it, almost three weeks ago, and I went to Minneapolis, and I turned around, came back home, and then mowed my lawn and quick packed up and went out to Montana and then out to Spokane, right? Yeah. And it was 80 degrees when I, when I left here, and now we're, you know, got to have the heat on. I turned the heat on when I got back. Right, right. So, well, it is fall. It snowed in the western part of North Dakota. I don't even want to hear about it. <laughs> it's, it snowed out there. And, and uh, South Dakota, um, they got like 18 inches of snow in some places. No way. Yeah, way. Oh, you guys can just keep it. <laughs> they can keep it. We didn't get yes. it. Yes. We had tornado. We had tornadoes and rain instead yesterday. Oh, really? Tornadoes oh, in October. Did you have a heat wave? No, it was cold With and a cold rainy. Front? Oh, usually if we're really hot and we get a cold front and we get tornadoes. No, we had we had tornadoes um, down by my mom's and dad's place. Um, oh, less than half an hour away. Yeah, they were there was tornadoes there. Um, other places. Yeah, I don't know if there was like five or six tornadoes sighted yesterday really that's unusual yeah. weird stuff isn't it yeah but it's cyclic you know i mean we, we we go through cycles the earth grows through cycles you know and and uh and uh you know i don't believe that you know the garbage that it's man-made i mean we're contributing to it but you know you have one volcano and it's going to contribute more than 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 you know a century of human Right. Yeah. So I don't know. Let, let's not get into that so much. Um, you know, there's all these other conspiracy things we could talk about instead if we wanted to. Well, let's talk about anti aging. Anti aging. Anti aging. You even know, reverse aging. How about that? Did you know that it's International Longevity Month? October is? I had no idea. Nobody's nobody knows. I I I, I text uh, Milo and and Lisa and I I said, hey, did you know? It's, yeah, you know. <laughs> and they should have had a promo for that. <laughs> oh, we should have had a promo. We should because I mean, in my opinion, Sizzle is the premier anti aging company. We're 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 ahead of our time, you know. That's for sure. Yep. What did what did Tom Senior used to say? You know, we have we have products unlike what you've ever seen yep that's for sure great formulation yeah. yeah i mean you take a look at some of them i mean and 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 a report came out the other day they were talking about how um senescence of the immune system is contributing a lot to what's going on in the world right now i saw that yeah definitely did mm-hmm yeah. And, and, and for those of you that are, that are watching, hi, my name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick. This is uh, my friend, Andrea. She's over in Michigan. I'm in North Dakota. We used to do these calls on Tuesday morning. We're going to try and do them on Thursday nights at this time. Yeah. Nine, right? nine Eastern and eight central. You know, we're going to see if we can, if we can get a few more people to, to view it. Um, plus, you know, it just, I don't know. It makes it more convenient for us, but you know, so we, we talk about a lot of things that has to do with, with uh, how to support your body's own natural um, abilities to be healthy. Yes. Wouldn't you say that that's, that sums yep. it up? 
You know, we can't say we, we, we can't say we show you things that prevent disease. We can't say that we show you things that cure disease. We can't say that we, you know, show you anything that treats disease. We just can't say those things. Right. We can't imply it either. You know? But we can support the body. We can support the body. We can, we can help to optimize things. Did you know you can't even say um, anti-inflammatory? No. Anti-inflammatory now is considered drug claim. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we support the body's system of dealing with inflammation. That's how we have to say it. But so what is senolytics? What is the science of senolytics? Um, you know, in, a, in, a, in, in, in an easy way to describe it, what happens is, is that your cells get to a certain age and they start um, malfunctioning. Yes. And, and what they do is they, they become rogue uh, and I know like you like to use the word zombie cells, and I see it in the literature, zombie cells, um, senescent cells. And what these senescent cells do is they're supposed to die, and then your body is supposed to get rid of them. Right. Well, what happens is that they don't die, and they decide to hang around. And they become cells that riot and revolt against the system. And they just decide they're not going to die for whatever reason. You know, it might be because of, you know, years ago, 20 years ago, I heard it was because, you know, we were using so many preservatives in our food that it was going to cause some problems. So maybe that's part of it. But anyhow, these, these senescent cells then, they hang around. And they used to say that when they hang around, they, they go dormant. And they mm -hmm. just kind of you know, senescent, dormant, sleeping cells. That's, that's what, what they, they thought, right? Yep. 20 years ago, that's what they taught us. And now they found out that those cells aren't sleeping. No, they're, they're not. They're raising havoc. They're causing yes. trouble. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to go out and grab other healthy cells and maybe not healthy cells, but they're trying to grab the cells that maybe are on the brink of going unhealthy and, and, and getting them to become senescent as well. So now all of a sudden you've got this patch of, of senescent cells all hanging around like a wild pack of dogs. Yes, and they're giving off really bad toxins. And causing inflammation and triggering health problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Heart disease, cancer, um, macular degeneration, neurodegenerative brain disease, type 2 diabetes, um, lung problems. And they're even saying now, the new study that Andrea and I were mentioning just a little bit ago, was that they found that the immune cells, the cells of immunity in your body that protect you from viruses and bacteria, go into senescence. Right. And now you don't have a good functioning immune system. Yep. So, and by the age of what, 40, half of your stem cells are in senescence. Yep, so you've lost right. half the production of the cells that regenerate. Yep. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and that's just what they think is an average. But in reality, well, I'm sure it depends on everybody's lifestyle and exposure to toxins, all that good stuff. Bingo, bingo. Yeah, you mm -hmm. just you just said a mouthful there. So it depends on your lifestyle and it depends on genetics as well. OK, you know, some people just have bad genetics. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I, I, I meet people all the time that say, oh, I'm the first male in the family that made it past the age of 50. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and well, look at Bill DeFalco. I mean, in his family, I mean, uh, for those of you that are familiar with Bill, Bill, um, Bill said he's like the first male in his family to make it past the age of 60. Yeah. And now and he's, he's, but he's become very proactive in saving himself, basically. 
supporting his body. That's right. So senescence, senolytics, you know, um, old dead dying cells that should be getting, you know, kicked out of the body, you know, boot them out. They're hanging around and they're causing trouble. And right. so they found that they found that there's certain things that um, can get rid of these. One of them, one of them is an extract from strawberries. Mm -hmm. You know, and you and I've talked about it a lot. It's called, it's called fisetin. And uh, this, this, this fisetin can actually um, help your body by, by um, um, supporting the part of the body that grabs those, those senescent cells and kicks them out. It's the bouncer. And, yep. And then there's another, another ingredient. It's called glycerin. And you and I have talked about that recently because of the fact that not only does it have a function to do with the, you know, with the uh, senolytics, but it also has a function to do with um, viruses. These coronaviruses, they've shown that glycerin, you know, coronavirus, think of it like, like my fingers are the, the spike proteins and, uh, and the, the glycerin attaches to these spike proteins and prevents that from thus being able to replicate. Right. But it, it, it also um, works with senescence. So it's kind of a, you know, you can take that and you can, you can, you can lower your risk of viral infections or, you know, I, I can't really say that. Um, you know, read the study. Look up Gwisertin, <laughs> Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I-N. And, and, and look up the studies on Fisetin, F-I-S-E-T-I-N. And, and, and you'll see, and, and Gwisertin comes from onions and apples and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, and uh, um, yeah, there's some really good health benefits to it. You know, some really good health so, benefits. Where would we get that? Where would we get that? Well, eat an onion. Yeah. And some strawberries. They go together, no. don't they? Yeah. No. <laughs> Yuck. Make a, make a salad with onions and strawberries. Mmm. No. Yeah. Throw ketchup on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Um, we, have, we have some great products. You know, we have one that's called Stemolytics that's actually got glycerin in it and it's got fisetin in it. It's got a bunch of other things too. It's got, you know, um, eight active ingredients that, 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 that are some of the most powerful uh, senolytic agents that are known. And Tom formulated yeah. that. Um, he was working on that formulation two years ago. It was about this time, two years ago that I, I know uh, we were talking on the phone and he said, gee, God, so I got it. <laughs> Remember, you used to say that. You he got is so, so excited about his discoveries. Yep. And he was, uh, well, remember he was, uh, it wasn't in October two years ago when he was at the World, Con no, that was three years ago when he was at three the World years. Congress mm -hmm. of, of, of Stem Cell. Yep. In Paris. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And he was the keynote speaker. Yep. He was one of the keynote speakers and, uh, and he was talking to Aubrey de Grey, one of the iconic figures in, in longevity. Yes. I, actually it was through uh, Aubrey de Grey's newsletter that I was reading um, yesterday where I discovered that it was international longevity month. Oh, okay. So they're the That's, ones that created that. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, no, it, it started in 1983. Really? Yeah, I've national... never heard about it. They don't have American greeting cards for it or anything. I I would send I would have sent out a card <laughs> to all my friends. Right? <clears throat> happy, happy Longevity Month. October first right. is considered Longevity Day, International Longevity Day. Well, I'm <laughs> going to remember that from now on. And send out cards just like Christmas cards, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, yeah. but. Anyhow, so that, so Aubrey de Grey and, and Tom were having a discussion and Tom and I talked about this, you know, and, you know, pulling some memories out of the memory bank there. And me and me and Tom were talking about it. And he said that Aubrey de Grey had, had said, yeah, this is going to be one of those, uh, you know, parts of science that we're going to have a lot of trouble figuring out. Yep. And, and, and um, I remember Tom went home and 
and it didn't take him more than a couple months and he already had i mean he he already had some stuff figured out on yep top that was amazing and the product the, is amazing the science of senolytics yeah senolytic and um because it's got the ingredients that not only get rid of senescent cells but it 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 it, it helps with what's going on in the world right now some mm -hmm. of the ingredients and your immune system goes into senescence and mm -hmm. you don't want that because right now you really need a strong immune system. I was listening That's to a doctor speak this afternoon and he said, he said, if you have a strong immune system combined with a strong digestive system, and he, he, he pointed that out, you want to have a, a strong digestive system. 80, 70 to 80% immune system is found in your gut. And, and yep. he said, but if you got both of them, he said, uh, virtually you can't get sick. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And so, so I take two of the stemolytics every single day. It's great. Every day, even though when it first came out, Tom said to take four every other day. I started taking, you know, once I realized what was going on right now, I started taking two a day. So instead of taking four every other day and, um, you know, and, and I think if I wasn't fighting this, I would go down to the, to the, the, the recommended dosage, which is two every other day. That's, that's right. a new recommendation, but you know, so, so we were going to talk a little bit about, um, glycated end products advanced glycated end products and uh, what are those what are those well i i brought up some science here i want to i want to show you some science and uh let's see i want to show you this can you see that can you see my screen yes i can so this comes from pubmed National Library of Medicine in Washington, D.C. And uh, basically, this is, from, this is from the Journal of Congestive Heart Failure, May of 2004. Okay. So what is that? Uh, long time almost, ago. almost 20 years ago, right? Mm hmm The Congestive Heart Failure Magazine. And here's what it says. It says advanced glycation end products, AGE, how appropriate, age, right? Mm -hmm. Form a non-enzymatic reaction between reducing sugars and biological protein. So reducing sugars, it means that your body's digesting, it's breaking them down. Biological proteins, proteins would be the food that you eat. So if you eat a steak and you have a, a sugar cookie with it, boom, it's going to develop um, those two things are what your body needs to make glycated end products. And it says these stable compounds accumulate slowly throughout the lifespan and contribute to structural and physiologic changes in the cardiovascular system, such as increased vascular and mitocardial stiffness. You know, so mm -hmm. it causes it causes the arteries and the heart to harden up. Endothelial dysfunction, altered vascular injury responses, atherosclerotic plaque formation. So it, it forms the plaque in your arteries, starts to plug your arteries up. And mechanism underlying these alterations include AGE, cross-linking of collagen, and AGE interaction with circulating proteins and AGE receptors. The clinical manifestation of AGE accrual isolated um isolated systolic hypertension so it causes so what they're saying is is it can cause high blood pressure endothelial and diastolic dysfunction so it cause problems with that as well it can cause atherosclerosis which is hardening of the arteries which uh, increases your cardiovascular risk associated with aging as well as triggering diabetes and high blood pressure right uh -huh. um, and it just goes on and on and on. It talks about these different things. And uh, so let me, uh, let me stop that share. And I'm going to go, I'm going to share another page here. Um, I'm going to put up a different article. Can you see a different article now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So dietary advanced glycation end products, AGEs of AGEs, Induce inflammatory response 
in human macrophages. So again, here it says advanced glycase end products, AGEs are found in protein and sugar rich food product processed at high temperatures, which make up a lot of the Western diet. And uh, it, they, they so go on to say, be, well- That would be inflammation in just about every cell then. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this comes from the magazine of nutrients, December of 2018. Okay. Right? So basically what it says that, um, you know, the AGEs exert an inflammatory reaction. Dire the dietary AGEs, advanced glycated end product, directly stimulate the inflammatory response in human innate immune cells. Crazy, huh? So... And human now, innate immune cells. What is innate? Innate is it, they're in your body. Your body makes it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here's another one. This comes from the magazine of Cell Metabolism. This is September 4th of 2019. It was written in uh, uh, 2018, but the uh, manuscript was available in 2019. So, so, so the article is September of 2018. And it says accumulation of advanced glycation end products, AGEs, on nucleotides, lipids, peptides, proteins is an inevitable component of the aging process in all eukaryotic organisms, including humans. So we're going to have these AGEs, uh, Andrea. It's part of aging. Right? It is. It, it seems so, it. like based on the first article or the first information you shared, it was talking about combining foods like eating steak and sugar at the same time. So you could maybe reduce that a little bit by not eating sugar when you eat your steak. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you can that you can do to reduce it, things like that. Yeah. But so Bottom line is, is that if we have a diet that we did when we were cavemen, where we aren't heating our food, we aren't overcooking it. Mm -hmm. If you're eating more raw food, you have, you have um, um, less AGEs that are produced. Okay. That's kind of what it says. And so it goes on to say that it's not so much that these AGs are being produced, it's the accumulation of these glycated end products. And that leads to the onset of age-related diseases, the diseases that we were talking about. Right, because it's formulating in every cell based on yeah. just the cellular function, right? Yep. Yeah. So what was it? Um, July, four years ago? 2017, yep. Yeah, July of, tw of 2017, so four years ago, um, four years, three months, um, Sizzle introduced a product called the Age Pill, A-G-E Pill, the A-G-E -E -E Pill, pill. Yeah. right? And, My favorite uh, product. Yeah, and, and, and uh, how appropriate, right? And and I couldn't believe that 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 name was still hadn't been copyrighted yet. Right. And for for Sizzle to be able to grab that, I'm like, oh wow, you you grabbed a good name there, the H pill. Yeah, and, well, it was interesting because when Tom came out with that, talking about that in April that year, you know, I went out and he mentioned it in a a, a post, the H pill. And he hadn't, he may have grabbed it by then. I don't know. But when I went out and looked at all the research from all the doctors and put in the age pill, they were actually using that in the context, that term. And yet mm -hmm. here we, we got it. <laughs> you know? we got so, it. Yeah. Okay. Nobody, nobody, nobody jumped on it, but you know, so, so you've got these, you've got these um, sugars and proteins that what they do is they, they get, you know, when you cook them together, mm -hmm. um, what happens is, is like, okay, if you throw in um, bread dough into your oven and you bake a loaf of bread, right? 
the crust mm -hmm. is the AGE. That's 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 the that's the AGE. That's the advanced glycated end product on that bread. Okay. Right. If you take if you take fish and you roll it in in flour and you throw it in a pan of hot oil, that brown crust is the advanced glycated end product. Yeah. In your body, you remember your body is is basically it's like a like a small slow cooker on the inside. It's like, you know, like we have a slow cooking oven all the time. Mm -hmm. And so when these sugars and proteins get in your body, you know, that slow cooker produces that crust. It produces that, that, that crust, like on that fish or on a French fry or on a, you know, or on a loaf of bread inside your body. And so that's building up in your cells, basically. On, on your cells on your cells but causing dysfunction because your cells have to interchange they have communication going on they have substances going through the cell wall so they get all crusty your cells get crusty mm -hmm. right and on top of it when you when you burn fat as energy you get a byproduct from that as well so when people say oh you know i don't eat sugar la 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 and, and they say, I'm just doing a st strictly keto diet. Well, mm -hmm. when you burn fat as energy, fat produces um, some other byproducts. Lipofusion? Lipofusion. And think of that like, you know, like, like um, well, cook some bacon on, in a frying pan. Pull the bacon out, leave the grease in the frying pan. What does it do? It it gets, yeah, like a thick, white, sticky junk, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that's lipofusion. So your body gets this lipofusion that um, forms in the cells. And so these two things create this sludge. Mm -hmm. And your, your cells Cell can't sludge. function. Cell, Cell sludge. sludge. <laughs> yeah. So, you your, your, so your, cell, your, cell, your <clears throat> cells can't function the way that they're supposed to function. And what ends up happening is that, you know, you, you burn up extra energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's, it's not good, Andrea. So like, like they were saying, it, it can create all those different, you know, problems, including inflammation. And right now, with everything that's going on in the world, inflammation is one of these key words that you you know that you hear about all the time inflammation inflammation everything's inflamed you know and we can't even use the word anti-inflammatory anymore when we talk about nutritional products because they've used the word so much that it actually you know they blocked us from they using it. <laughs> yeah so so you know so we can't say that but we can we can say that we have products that that can that can help your body by supporting the systems that get rid of these advanced glycated end products, these AGEs and this right. life profusion. And there's all sorts of science that came out of, that came out of Harvard. Yeah. You know, MIT, and, Harvard. <clears throat> yep. Um, Stanford. South Wales University. Yep. Um, University of Iowa had a bunch of information that came out and bottom line was, is that they, they showed that you can take, um, different things. One of them is called nicotinamide riboside. Another one is called nicotinamide mononucleotide, NR or NMN um, for mm -hmm. short. And these things will, will um, trigger your body to, to make molecules that can support the, this, this, this whole um, system. Mm -hmm. So it works on the mitochondria and the cell. Yeah. So it produces and, more energy. Yeah. And energy comes in the form of NAD, right? And, yeah. And, uh, and so it's all really kind of cool how you do it. But, you know, you, you, you know, you really can't eat a bunch of food and get these things. Like, we, you know, we were talking about strawberries earlier. I remember when I first talking about, talking about, yeah, my, my, my friend said, Oh, I love strawberries. 
Right. I said, well, you, you can't eat enough strawberries. Right, because these are extracts. <clears throat> so they're super, highly intense. Super concentrated. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten rid of all the stuff that, that you know, that, that sits there along with it, you know, mm -hmm. and super highly concentrated. And uh, they, uh, they're, they're, I mean, it really, I mean, there's nothing like the age pill or the stemolytic pill. Um, right. And then, and then when you mix in some of the other things that we have, like the, the, you know, the, the H2 water, the high diatomic hydrogen water that we have, right. Um, mm -hmm. Hydrogen is the, is the fuel for your body. And, and we don't hear people talking about it as much anymore. You notice that you don't see the ads, you don't see it going across the, you know, your, your screen when you're, when you're, you know, Google and different things. But hydrogen water, hydrogen is the fuel. It's the fuel of life. Right. And I mean, I have a whole library of benefits from hydrogen water. Yep. And then, and then we combine resveratrol. And you and I have talked about this a bunch, resveratrol, you know, because resveratrol is, is a um, molecule that comes from mm -hmm. grapeseed extract. And it comes from other things too, but grapeseed extract is, is where it's primarily gotten. And they found that it, um, in the skin of red grapes, and they found that it, it, it uh, supports the sirtuin gene. And the sirtuin genes are the um, genetics in your body that repair damaged DNA. Right. Which again, can trigger aging it can trigger senescent cells and all these different things yep. and so resveratrol and we have that in our in our um, eternity product mm -hmm. and uh, we can get into all the science on that but that we'll do that we'll save that discussion for later on so but i just really wanted to share that information you know because it's top of mind awareness you know andrea toma top of mind awareness Yep. You know, right, right now we've got a lot of things going on in the world and we've got to, we've got to try and build our immune system to stay healthy. And we've got to try and keep the inflam inflammation down as much as we can without saying anti-inflammatory because mm -hmm. we can't say that anymore, but you know, I'm going to say it as much as I can, you know, anti-inflammatory, but I'm just not going <laughs> to say I'm just not going to say our products are anti I can't say that anymore. I can't say that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say our products are anti-inflammatory. There you go. But I can say that they support the system in your body that is anti-inflammatory. Aha. Uh -huh. Crazy. You know, what a twist on words. What a crazy world we live in. You know, we can't say this, but, you know, we, we can't say that. You know, doctors are getting in trouble because they're speaking out and they're saying, you know, they're saying, hey, I want to know the truth. And so they get banned from, you know, right. everything. And it's, it's what a crazy world. I mean, that's the whole thing that 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 makes science work, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that. Well, if, you know, if you're not if you're not questioning everything. Right. And, you know, to be able to freely share this information with people so that you can help them. Right. You know, so they have a choice. It's not like you're making them do it, but people need a choice in what they want I mean, to do with their own body. If we if we didn't question things, the, we'd still believe the world is flat. Yeah, or round. You know, I mean, or round if you believe it's still flat. But yeah, right. I mean, we'd we'd st we'd still be you know in a, <laughs> in the dark ages and a lot of things. I mean. And we wouldn't be able to fly because somebody said, oh, we'll never fly. You know, that's for the right. birds. And, and, you Mine know, so there's, the so if all of a sudden you're getting in trouble because you're questioning the authority. Well, not. you know, that's the basis of science. Like you said, that is the basis of how does this work? How does that happen? You know, that's right. I mean, that's where we got, got all our knowledge basically is people questioning things question you got to question everything and and that's 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 what i believe is that you question everything i mean if you're if you're if somebody says this you say why 
You know, you might believe them and it might be believable and it might be what you believe, but you still got to question your own beliefs. I mean, I'm doing that all the time. I mean, I, and mm -hmm. the older you, you get, to. the more you question. <laughs> and the, the more questions you have and the fewer answers that you have. Yeah, I remember I used to just love the uh, Charles Schultz Peanuts books when I was like 14 or something. And I always remember this one cartoon where Charlie Brown says to Lucy, what makes the clouds or no, what makes the wind blow? And Lucy looked at him and said, the clouds move it. <laughs> it was like totally backwards. But anyway, it was just so funny. You know, she just came out with this fake news. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Andrea, it was our first call on a Thursday night, and I look forward to many more calls. We've been doing this call on, on Tuesdays now for about five or six years, and uh, now we'll move it to Thursday nights like tonight. We'll do this, um, you know, and we'll, we'll tweak up the time and, and that, you know, maybe we'll make it earlier, later, whatever. But um, so thanks for being with me. And for those of you that have joined us tonight, uh, thanks for being with us. And I look forward to seeing you back here again next week. Okay, great. Have a good night, Doc. And everybody else, too. Bye. See, see ya. See ya.